Well, former First Lady Michelle Obama visits Cleveland tomorrow on her very popular Becoming book tour. And March is also Women's History Month, so if you're feeling inspired, now is the perfect time to explore a fascinating resource all about First Ladies right here in our own backyard. Canton is home to the National First Ladies Library and also the First Ladies National Historic Site. And I went for a visit. There's a lot of girl power in this building, isn't there? Yes, there is. Not just this building, but two city blocks in Canton are dedicated to the ladies, first ladies, that is. Welcome to the First Ladies National Historic Site. So when they're here, they get a glimpse into the life of one first lady. So they get the opportunity to tour her house and visit it, but then they get the opportunity to come to the Education and Research Center and learn more about other first ladies. Canton was home to first lady number 25, Mrs. Ida Saxton McKinley. Inspired by Ida, Mary Regula, the wife of longtime Congressman Ralph Regula, established the National Library in the 90s. And what she found over time was she couldn't find information on first ladies. Frankly, let's be honest, they were women. We weren't telling women's story, we were telling the story of a man. Jennifer Highfield is now president and CEO. But we absolutely know from the historic artifacts that we have collected and many researchers and scholars across the nation and the world that these first ladies played very pivotal and important roles in their husbands' lives. Has the role of first lady evolved over time? There's no defining role for a first lady. So every first lady can assume the responsibilities and, and issues that she wants to. Michelle Obama has carved her own path, now outlined in her new book and tour, which stops in Cleveland tomorrow. Are you surprised by all the excitement over it? Oh my goodness, no. I mean, <laughs> I'm excited for it, right? We are big fans of Michelle Obama here, her enthusiasm of always helping everyone. Among the artifacts here in Canton, an inaugural masterpiece. This one in particular is one that fans of Michelle Obama will yes. recognize right away. It's a replica that was made specifically to her measurements. It's just such a distinctive look. It Everybody is. can probably remember seeing her in it. This is all hand done, these little tiny flowerettes. Michelle Obama is one of the first ladies I think of when I think of fashion and how she Absolutely. used it as a vehicle in a lot of Absolutely. ways. Absolutely, yes. I think she, she um, very much used it, and I, I see that with Melania Trump, too, now. With the corsodon, she had an 18-inch waist. Oh, my God. I learned that influence, too, goes way back. Ida would sit just outside the door of President McKinley's meetings, listening in so she could offer him advice. We kind of, I feel like we forget the First Ladies are important figures, and they have a lot to say and a lot to bring to our nation, to our history. I've always been really interested in history, and I've always been interested in women's history. So yeah, I've always been you know, interested in First Ladies. The library and historic site are open to visit or take a guided tour. We've got more information on WKYC.com.